Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Now today, we're gonna talk about a new game. It's called Love in Deep Space. So a few days ago, they released like the pre-registration news. And yeah, I'm quite excited for it because the first time when I saw the PV, it was like years ago and they finally updated something. And now it's coming to global server. I'm so excited for it. Uh, hopefully that we can finally have the beta test as soon as possible already. I'm so excited. Now you can already pre-register in the play store and the ios store already as early as now and there's already pre-register rewards if you just check on the website in the description so yeah i'll also put that link in the description as well for you to uh, access as well okay now you can also join their other socials as well for you to you know get get more latest news okay now first let's react to the english to the global PV first, and then afterwards let's delve into like the analysis of the game okay now just an overview Love and Deep Space is the same developer as uh, MLQC or Mr. Love Queen's Choice. If you're not familiar with it, it's called Love and Producer. That's the alternate title, okay? And also Nikki series, where it's the dress up game and everything, okay? So both of them are under, all of them are under the same developer called Paper Games. And this time the publisher is called Infold Games. If you're not familiar with Infold Games, they're also the ones who develop infinity nikki so that one is an open world dress up game so um, as much as that's as far as i know about infinity nikki but yeah it's still under development okay now let's go first react on the pv okay this is my 214th spring on earth oh i love that they add they added e and dubs and Oof. it will be my last but why does it sound so angsty <laughs> when you and the world wake up Ayo, more angst. I hope we do not meet again. It was before you met me. Angsty doctor again. I uh Ayo, that wink. That wink. Ayo. Okay. So the you have three male leads in the beginning. That's Savior, Raphael, and Zane. Zane's the doctor. Savior is the first guy and Raphael is the painter. So I would say there's like quite some similarities with Emma QC where like we have the angsty doctor and <laughs> we have the boy next door which is Savior who gives that Gavin vibe and uh, Raphael being like the artist who's most likely younger than you. So I would I would say it's like a mix of Kiro and, and Shaw from Emma QC in my opinion. Okay, now uh, since they've only released this part, let's try looking for additional features by watching the CNPV. Now, first of all, the the place is taken place is in twenty thirty four, and you can see each power there written evil. Okay, for Raphael's fire, savior is light, and. Zane is ice. So Evol is like the power, the name of the power that they have. Similar to MLQC. Right? So I would say it's like an Easter egg-ish. Okay, this is the casual part. I'm so cute. Deep space, deep space. I'm guessing this is like the ASMR part. Or like the dates, the card dates. <laughs> so cute. Now, all of them are cute. Go <laughs> on. First person perspective of 3D animation. Yeesh. Ayo. Customize your own MC. Oh, okay, that's interesting. It's gonna take me two hours to customize MC Lamau. Okay, you have. Photo taking with him. Oh, well, it's like those photo shoot collab. Like the photo shoot booth. Oh, I hope this is permanent. Oh, yo, yo. Oh. He said, "Is this a punishment, sir, sir, sir?" <laughs> Excuse me, sir. <laughs> well, then I've been looking forward to that. <laughs> 
<laughs> so yeah, CN server, we're going they're going to have another round of beta tests really, really soon. And hopefully global can uh follow suit. Now as I've noticed as I've searching uh about this game, uh, there's there's quite a lot of interactive cutscenes in a sense. So it's similar to like other 3D RPG games like God of War where you have to mash buttons in the middle of the cutscenes. So that's what I kind of quite notice in in how we progress the main story. So I'll give you an example. This one is from their official channel in Bilibili. So this is Zane's route maybe or like the meet up with him. Kitty! Ah, it's so cute! <laughs> He's Dr. Elsa! He's <laughs> Dr. It's really cool how, how MC has her own voice. Have you noticed there's still stop bubbles to speak? That's fine. <laughs> I'm guessing Zane, Zane and MC are like the awkward, awkward start, just like how how Victor and MC meet up in in the game, <laughs> where they're just like either arguing back and forth or just awkward stuff, and then later on he'll become like the sweet, sweet guy. <laughs> now this is Saviors, okay. <clears throat> it looks like a more serious one because they also mentioned something like the Wanderings. Space hunters and all. Oh, sorry for the delay. I'm guessing either MC is MC is like uh, the descendant, the descendant of MC in MLQC, which is the queen, or like a separate universe. Because the way the way he said, "I will, can I borrow your power?" And MC isn't aware, so it's similar to like the Queen's power, where it just amplifies everyone's evils. I don't know. It could be it could be like an Easter egg. So yeah. Next, this is uh Raphael's. <laughs> Yee. <laughs> and then you have to tap him to catch him. Nope, no, no, no touch. Okay, I mean the sound is delayed for some reason. Sorry. Oof! Oh, <laughs> oh, poor Raphael. Protect the artist, man. Damn, MC just, just straight up grabbing him, man. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, sorry, sorry for that delay part in the video, but yeah. Okay. Now, let's go to like. Mm, the more serious one, which is the combat, because I've heard that it's an RPG, and I remember when I first saw the first PV that was released years back. There was the RPG one. That's the one that that caught my attention. The the combat system. So I'll show you. Okay, this is the old PV of uh, Love and Deep Space. So you can see, there's a basic attack. There's link. Mm, like a link ultimate skill in a sense they have to mash the bottom multiple times <laughs> so for savior it's mm, sword then for zane it's a bow with ice i guess this the link ultimate and oh, looks so cool man pew, pew, pew. and then for Raphael, it's fire but MC is using a rifle, and he's using a dagger. Then it turned to like a pistol with me. Uh, so cool though, not gonna lie. Like combat wise, I would want to try. I would want to try uh, Raphael's, but oh, husband wise, oh, so hard to pick. <laughs> so you can see a while ago that one was portrait, right? But um, when I was digging for the beta test place. It was in landscape, so probably they have an option to choose whether it's landscape or portrait for the sake of like gameplay and experience. We don't know yet. We have to wait until the beta releases. So this is a sample of the combat system in Love and Deep Space. Okay. This is where you activate the ult. 
It looks a bit different compared to the first PV. Damn. Boom. So, so cool. So you can see here, this is like the um, basic attack. Then two skills and one evade. And then there's like a button up there, if I'm not mistaken. Where it's the uh, ultimate link skill. Okay. Uh, looks so cool, man. Okay. Now, in, in the winning winning the victory screen you can see that there is uh three stars then the gems and everything then if you complete three stars you get extra gem so i'm guessing that the way that you progress the story is not an open world system but more like stages in in some sense okay now let's look at like the interface so i've taken some screenshots and yeah we, we can we can see about it okay first of all the um the main ui for your cards looks like this so you have four tabs right at the very bottom i'm sorry you cannot it's it's quite it's quite small but yeah so it says here like a uh, uh ability and then like something like an oath so i'm guessing this is like the cons or if you ascend multiple times then there'll be some bonus stuff and then this is the um memories and you have something called the core so i'm not really sure what this is so the ability i'm guessing this is where you level up the skills and attack and everything and over here you can see some stats so hp attack defense and crit okay then maybe there's more calculation of stats after you tap this button okay now for the memory okay i will just call this memory you see there are like six cards here okay so think of it like the uh the card system in nikki where you have to equip the card in order for you um, to help boost in in the stages okay but instead of one is six uh so it's, i will say it's similar to pgr or punishing gray raven where you need six and probably there's like a set bonus so for example in this in the screenshot that i took it says here two two set okay two cards under the same set will give you attack bonus of eight percent okay so that's one example okay next uh we look at the skills first because that's the important one as mentioned a while ago there's one basic attack two skills and one ultimate so this would um, describe when, like the calculation and everything so for example you can see this one has like damage percentage and everything okay yeah and then you also have the other tab which is the core now the core is a little bit tricky because uh it's different from the memory like the memory is the one with the guy cg and then the core is like the artifact set in genshin and other games so it works the same way like it has a set bonus and everything but uh inside inside this uh this core thingies okay you can level them up and it will give you like mm, different stats so it works the same way as genshin with all the relics and leveling ups and all so yeah we have to find out more in the game so yeah assuming that i was able i, I can get in the beta then yeah you can explore and explain more of this later on so yeah that's more or less how it looks like and then uh i heard that uh you have this one also which is like the attire or the skin quote unquote the skin so i'm guessing that uh ssr has different skins or something or i, I don't know it doesn't say yet on how how you can unlock the um, the skins so yeah that's more or less uh, more or less how how it works in in the game i don't know like if the go the go see him part is the one where you'd actually touch the guy the first person perspective or is that the card story then you, you'd read it like how they show it in the pv like how it progress in the main story with with all those top bubbles and everything so yeah only one way to find out just have to wait when when the beta opens and assuming that we can get in so yeah yeah so yeah that's more or less about it like a uh, first impression of the game oh i'm 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 coping hard. <laughs> I will want to see more about this game. So yeah, hopefully we can get in the close beta and explore more about this game. Looking forward to it though. Hope cope hope and cope on paper games. I I, I trust them. I know what they're cooking. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. That's all of it about the love and deep space. Um, 
So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.